Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Learn with Minecraft Education. Today, we are going to be looking at customizing our NPCs, giving them giant heads and changing their skins and all those kind of things. Uh, we're going to be using Tinker for this tutorial, so let's dive in, see how it works. Okay, here we are in our favorite search engine, searching up Tinker Minecraft and you can use the same login for this as you do for Minecraft Education. You can use your Microsoft login uh, but this will work for Bedrock as well. It's tested working fine on Bedrock. We're going to create Minecraft resources here in the top left and let's zoom in on this bit. We're going to create mob this purple one in the middle there. Now there's a whole load of templates, cool stuff we can do. Uh, but today's video is about non-player characters, NPCs. So we are going to scroll down until we get to those guys. Now we can choose NPC one through to 10, I believe. We're gonna go for three. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you choose. You can choose any one of them and I'll explain why very shortly. But for now, uh, let's go ahead and make this non-player character's head a little bit bigger. So we're going to go on the block selection tool. We're gonna to expand it and we're gonna uh, move up this inflate slider just a little bit. Uh, we could go bigger with the head, but uh, too big kind of looks a bit crazy. And uh, lift up the head a little bit so it sat on the shoulders there. There, nice, that looks good. Now, uh, once we get that in the right place and looking kind of cool, I will um, show you guys how you can have a play around with the other non-player characters too. And as I was saying, it doesn't matter which one of these you choose, because as you can see there, there's a pop-up menu at the bottom right, and you can play around with all of the non-player characters. Now, they've all got big heads now because we've changed the size. And it, when you change the size of the body parts, it affects all of them. Uh, which is a shame, but we can work with it because when you ch edit the skin, you are editing only that specific one. I don't know why why it works like that, but it does. Um, so let's, um, I'll speed through this and speed this up a bit. I'm going to edit the skin of non-player character number one. Like I said, they're all going to have big heads, but they're going to have different skins. And I'll do um, four different skins for number one, two, three, and four. So let's edit this first skin first. Nice... Um, Change of hair colour there and change of clothes, got a pink top on and uh, some pink shoes too for NPC number one. And of course a giant head, why not? Now, we'll load these in to Minecraft Education shortly and you can see how they look. Uh, but let's move on to the second one, we'll give them a blue top and a load of orange hair. Yeah, that's looking good. Blue trousers. And... Um, then we'll move on to non-player character number three. And I'm getting a bit bored now, so let's just do this whole one a kind of bluey gray color. And the last one we'll do yellow. And uh, we'll just finish off the head at the top and we'll do a smiley face on the front. Right, so we need to export this. So let's go to download now and click on that. And it'll pop up with a download in the bottom left if you're using Chrome, we click on that. And it opens up Minecraft Education Edition for us. You may need to right click and tell your computer to open with Minecraft Education. If you've got a few versions of Minecraft installed. Uh, but for me, it loads up straight away. Now, um, I don't like this. Someone changed my skin. I'm going change to my, change my skin quickly. Back to something else. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to start a new world. And I'm going to activate this new resource pack that I've made. So let's go down to resource packs, my packs and NPC3. And there's a little uh, icon there of my final NPC I was working on. And we'll just go on a flat world on creative and load this up. Now you do need to type uh, forward slash WB to turn on world builder mode. And once you've done that, go to inventory type NPC and shift click that egg into your infantry there. Okay, so, wow. I, I think the heads are a good size. Bigger than that would have been too much, really. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. And let's adjust these. So there's NPC number two, with the orange hair and the blue trousers, cool. Let's put in number three, which is the kind of gray blue color all over, nice. And NPC number four. There we go. And the rest of our NPCs 
are just left as they are. I didn't edit the rest of them, uh, but it works. It works really well. Um, this is not, you know, an official mod. This is something that you can create yourself on Tinker. So you can have a play around with this and uh, do some crazy stuff. Like I said, when you change the size of the body parts, it, um, it, it seems to affect all of them. Uh, but when you edit the skins, it doesn't seem to matter all that much. So that's pretty cool. And we'll put some of the, I guess they're called vanilla NPCs, although the vanilla ones don't have giant heads uh, in there as well. And that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, let's just fill this world with bobble-headed NPCs just for a laugh. Yeah, let's clear up my screen, get rid of the hotbar, F1. Okay, I like it. I do like that one stands out with the smiley face, the yellow smiley face, and they look at you at the end. Hello. Yeah, let's put a load of these down. Rawr. They do look funny, don't they, next to the donkey. Cool. Okay, so uh, we are going to finish up the video there. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video or even found it useful, please do like this video and subscribe to the channel. It does help me a lot uh, with, with our channel here. And um, I'll be making some more videos later on in the week. So I will see you then.